Hi guys, it's Lisa Joy Young and I am finally back from Christmas break. I took a really long time off for Christmas, then I got sick, and it's just been crazy, but I'm so excited to be back and filming another video for you. One really quick update, I will be back at uh, the bank again this year in Fort Lauderdale. Um, that's the Face and Body Art International Convention. I'm going to be teaching a few classes. Um, one of them is going to be really cool. It's going to be how to incorporate unusual tools and things like that into your face painting kit to give you more dynamic faces. So that should be fun. I'm hoping to see some of you again that I met last year and hopefully to meet some new people too. All right, so today I'm gonna to be showing you how to do um, a really pretty Mardi Gras mask that in, consists entirely of teardrops. So make sure to practice your teardrops because if you're good at them, you can make entire designs using only teardrops. And this mask is easy to do and really easy to remember and I love doing it at events. Oh yeah, and teenagers and adult women love it too, which makes it even better. The first step is going to be to get your base color. I'm using this rainbow cake I made. It has, I don't know the exact names of them, but purple, pink, orange, and yellow. They're all fab colors, which make really good rainbow cakes. Um, and I have that on my sponge. And I'm going to put that purple up top. And I'm going to start right, let's see, I'm going to have it be like right in the middle where my eyebrows are, okay? And I'm going to start right in the middle, and I'm going to pounce pivot it, which will create a natural arch for me. Pivot it to one side and pivot it to the other side. And I'll go back up with just the top and just clean up that outer edge so I have a nice pretty outer edge. Now I'm going to take my yellow portion and start it right here and going up at an angle. Now if I was doing this on a child, I would take the yellow and I would do it here and go down. But I want to show you how you could do this on women and teenagers who don't want you to mess up their makeup um, and how to just avoid this eye area. So I'm going to take that yellow and put it up here instead of down there and pounce it. I'm going to do the same thing down here. Now be careful down here. You don't want it to go all over and it's easy for it to do that on the bottom for whatever reason. And then in the middle right here, I'm going to, let's see, I think I'll flip it around just to create interest and fill the rest in with the other colors like that. Okay, so this is the basic shape you should have. Now it's time for the teardrops. I have my Wolf White and a number three uh, Low Cornell 3000 series. And I'm gonna do clusters of teardrops and then kind of uh, connect them with other teardrops. And the first thing I'm gonna do is put a dot in the center of my forehead. These are where jewels will go. If you don't have jewels, just do a big dot and it'll look pretty still. And one right there and one right here. I'm going to start with the top cluster um, on the middle of the design and the tallest teardrop is going to be right in the center so I'll start with that one. So push down on my brush and lift up. I don't know if I've mentioned this before but a lot of instructors talk about twisting your brush and things like that to get good teardrops. I don't do that. I just flick my brush. I don't move it, twist it, turn it, anything. Um, but whatever works best. You might want to twist it, that might help you, but um, I don't. I just flick my brush. Um, now I'm going to come down a little lower and aim it towards that dot again. I'm going to keep going down. Just like that. So you end up with something like that. Now I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to do them up. So I'll start in the middle and flick up and go shorter and shorter, shorter and shorter. All right, like that. 
All right, now I'm going to do the exact same thing I did here. I'm going to do it over here, and that's what makes the design this design so easy to remember is you're just repeating it all over the face. So I'm going to start with my longest one and flick it in, and then I'll go shorter and shorter. Shorter and shorter. Now I'm going to come up here and fill in this space. And I want my longest teardrop to be at the top right here. And I'm going to have it sweeping in and pointing toward this dot right here. Um, so you're going to have all of your teardrops pointing towards some kind of a dot. So these are pointing towards that one, these are pointing towards that one. So I have it sweep in and end right there. Have some cascading into this one. Down, down, and then I'll just do a couple more teardrops of different sizes to connect these two places or fill in that place. I'm going to do that same thing going this way and having the teardrop sweep up into this dot here. So go up and sweep up towards there. Same thing. Press and lift. Press and lift. And now we'll do varying sizes teardrops to connect it all. Now I'm going to do just another cluster of teardrops here. If you want to, you could fill this in with stars or dots too. That might look cute. So I'll start with the biggest one here. And then just go in like that. And I'll just do a really tiny little cluster here, so I'll... Okay, so I'm going to repeat everything I did on that side over here. Okay, so there it is, um, all filled in with teardrops. Now, if I had a long line, I would definitely stop here. But if you have a little more time and you want to outline it, I'll go ahead and do that so you can see what it looks like. I'm going to be using this dark um, purple color from Wolf. I can't remember what it's called, but everything I use is in the um, description box, so you can check it out there. I'm going to be using a number zero brush to do this. So I want all of my line work to be fatter at the top and skinnier at the bottom. So I'm always going to start at the top because it's much easier to press and pull and end in a point than it is to try to start skinny and then end fat. I don't know why it is, it just is like that. Press and pull, press and pull. Alright, so I have it all outlined with that purple. Now I'm going to take some eyelash glue. This is Duo, it doesn't matter what kind. But if you do use eyelash glue to stick on your gems, make sure you ask the parent if the child has a latex allergy, because this stuff uh, is latex based. So I'm just gonna put a tiny little dot like that. It's important not to put much more, or else it's gonna squish out all around your gem and look really ugly. So I'm just gonna put that right in the middle here. Let's see, even a little squished out, even with that little tiny bit but it'll dry clear, so it's not too horrible. And I have these itty bitty ones as well. So I put an even smaller drop of glue on those. Uh, they're hard to hold on to. And I'm just gonna put those in the corner of my eyes, right there. All right, I wanna add a little bit more just to, I don't know, make it look even more pretty. So um, just in this area here, I'm going to just do different size dots. They want to end up with something like that if you decide to add the dots. 
All right, so the last step was glitter. I already put that on, but a lot of times I get asked how to put dry glitter on dry paint because it doesn't stick. Say so you waited a little too long and your paint is dry. Well, the answer is to re-wet your paint. And you have to do this carefully or you can ruin your whole design. But basically, just take your spray bottle and you want to stand pretty far away from the person. Um, so if I was, I'm going to do it on myself for you guys, but you, you know, I'm holding it a whole arm length away. So just a tiny bit of mist gets on it. And then you just do one or two squirts just to very, very lightly dampen the, the paint. You don't want to get it really wet. So you just, oh gosh like that and it will re-moisten the paint and uh, you can just dip your finger in water kind of you know get the excess water off dip it in your glitter and you'll have a good amount there and it should stick on really easily and last a, a good amount of time so I hope that helped you all right well I hope you guys like this design and that you could use it at an event soon I'm so happy to be back and if you haven't done so already please rate comment and subscribe check me out on Facebook it is down below uh, the link to it and as well all of the products I used in this video are also down below so if you have any questions you could just refer down there. I hope that you guys had a wonderful Christmas and a wonderful New Year's and I'll see you soon in another video. Bye!